323 review and preview. I am going to go through problem 394. Solve for x. 3x minus 7 equals 3x plus 1. Um, the first thing that I need to do is get rid of the 3x. We're going to take 3x away from both sides because we can't have the variables on both sides. That leaves me with negative 7 here and 1 here. Well, no matter what x is, there is no way that negative 7 will ever be equal to positive 1. If I make this a 0, I'd have negative 7 equals 1, which is not true. If I make this a 3, I would have 9 minus 7 equals 9 plus 1. No matter what x is, this will never be true. So this is no solution. Sometimes that happens. Not very often. B. Negative 2x minus 5 equals negative 4x plus 2. Again, I need to get the x's on one side. So, there are different ways of doing this. I could take away two, negative 2x from here and take away negative 2x from here. Or I could add 2x to both sides. But if I add 4x to both sides, I will end up with a positive 2x over here, which is much easier to solve. If I added 2x to both sides, I'd end up with a negative 2x over here, and that wouldn't be as easy to solve. So now I have 2x minus 5 equals 2. I want to get 2x by itself, so I'm going to add 5 to both sides, and this is gone, so now I have 2x equals 7. I need to split 7 in half and split this in half, and I get 7 halves. 7 is not evenly split. You can leave it as an improper fraction of 7 over 2, or you can change it to 7 and, uh, 3 and a half, or 3.5. All right, let's take a look at C. 2 plus 3x equals x plus 2 plus 2x. Um, first I need to clean this up a little bit by adding together this x and that x. So if I have 1 and I get 2 more, now I have 3x plus 2. 2 plus 3x doesn't change. The next thing, since we have x's on both sides, we're going to remove 3x from both sides. And now I, this is gone and that is gone as well. 2 equals 2. What that means is that it doesn't matter what x is, it will always be true. If x is 0, I would get 2 equals 2. If x was 1, I would get 5 equals 5. If x was 2, I'd get 8 equals 8. It doesn't matter what x is, so x equals any value or any number. x can be anything. All right, the last one, d. Negative x minus 2 equals x plus 2. First, I need to flip this because it has a minus sign in front of the parentheses. So the opposite of x becomes negative x. The opposite of negative 2 becomes plus 2. Okay. Now, I want to deal with the x's on both sides. So I need to make this one a 0 by adding 1x to both sides gets rid of that. And now I have two x's over here. Now I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides to get the 2x by itself. 2 minus 2 is 0. The last step is to divide by 2. 0 divided by 2 is 0. 2 times 0 equals 0. And that's the solution.